Last year I called the HP Spectre X360 one of the best business laptops around, and with some simple upgrades on the latest edition, that statement still stands. I'm Alex Radu, and welcome to All Hands on Tech. This time around, rather than just a week or so with the Spectre X360, I spent about a month with it before sitting down for this review. And just like last time, I put myself in the shoes of an executive or just anyone who travels a lot for work. The Spectre X360 traveled with me to California, Denver, and all across North America, and when time was up, I was sorry to put it down. So let's start with the design. The Spectre X360 continues to be one of the sleekest laptops on the market. It's incredibly thin, lightweight, and while I prefer the copper and black paint job, the silver skin is just as striking. The only complaint I have with the design is the weak hinge. While this is still a problem for many 2-in-1 devices, the wobble and bounce you experience with the Spectre X360 is quite apparent. For the display, we have a 13.3 inch 4K touchscreen, and it's still as crisp as ever. Frankly, the 4K upgrade is a nice addition, but at this screen size, I honestly can't tell the difference between 4K and HD. Regardless of what you're using the device for, you can be sure it'll look great, and if you're looking to watch movies or TV shows on long flights like I did, you will not be disappointed. Since it is so thin and lightweight, it is very easy to travel with, and it's certainly an upgrade over the CPAC display on a flight. Which brings us to the battery. You can get quite a significant amount of usage out of the Spectre X360. I watched about 4-5 to five hours of straight Netflix on a flight back from California, and still had enough battery for a couple hours more. So if you're just using the Spectre X360 for work, i.e. checking emails, attending video conferences, etc., and you're traveling around, you won't have to be glued to a wall socket. Inside the machine, the experience is the same, just improved. The Spectre X360 has 8th generation Intel Core i5 or i7 processors, 16 gigs of RAM, and 512 gigs of SSD storage. This time it also has a fingerprint reader, but it's an awkward button on the side and I didn't find myself using it at all, considering it's no faster than Windows Hello facial recognition. And again, the Spectre X360 comes with a stylus, but as before, the stylus isn't magnetized to stick to the side of the display, so I mostly chose to leave it behind rather than lose it, because I will lose it. But if you do opt to carry it around with you, it's a perfectly fine and effective stylus. Here in Canada, the latest Spectre X360 starts at $1,749, which is comparable to a 13-inch MacBook Pro. But the Spectre X360 does have slightly better specs. Ultimately, if you're a business user looking for your next device, then look no further. The Spectre X360 is simply one of the best laptops for business users out there. It's portable, looks great, and can still pack a punch that is most likely more than you'd ever need for your everyday business uses. Plus, it holds its own against the competition. That's it for the latest All Hands on Tech. Let us know what you think about the HP Spectre X360 in the comments below, and if you like this video, please like and subscribe. My name is Alex Radu, and thanks for watching.